Look, I'm going to level with you. I've been trying to think of what to say for the last half hour, but, uh, God, you know the drill. Five minutes. Let's go. Five. All right. Today we are talking about the Dyson Zone Absolute Plus. Should you buy these headphones? Absolutely not. End of video. But wait, there's more. See, I like to show my work. I take these into the lab and do data collections. And when I say something, I mean it. I can prove it too. From an equipment standpoint, these headphones, leaving aside the air filter, are fairly decent. They have Bluetooth 5.0, multipoint. They also support SBC, AAC, and LHDC, which will allow you to do high bitrate listening if you have a source device that supports it. Additionally, the noise canceling on these is actually decent. It only gets rid of about 84% of outside noise, according to our lab tests, but that puts it squarely in the middle of the pack of the other top flight ANSI headphones, beating out some like the Focal Bathys and the Sennheiser Momentum 4 Wireless. Not too shabby. Sound-wise, these are okay. For the multi-dimensional audio quality scores uh, provided to us by Head Acoustics, our virtual panel of hundreds of listeners would have rated these at about middle of the pack, 3.1 out of 5, that's about halfway. So you're not going to get bad audio quality. From the headphones alone, battery life too, decent, which should happen considering how heavy these are. 46 hours and 26 minutes is nothing to sniff at. Mic quality, fairly decent for calls. Uh, like most headphones, there is some issues with noise rejection and wind, but it's actually not that bad. Um, mic samples over there. Yeah, over yeah, there. If, yeah. If you want to see mic samples, head on over that way. Unfortunately, this is where the good news ends. Weighing in at a whopping 648 grams compared to the AirPods Max's 380 grams, Dyson Zone Absolute Plus have too much mass for a human head. And I wasn't even able to wear these for more than an hour or two at a time without feeling pain. In order to get the air filter inside, these headphones have a trick. You can pull off the mesh on the back to expose the electrostatic carbon filters to take out some pollutants from the air and give you freshly filtered air into a ducted visor. Essentially, it just takes the air in here that is blown through the headphones here and it gets it to underneath your nose and mouth. It doesn't actually seal, so you're not protected from any airborne pathogens. Particulate matter can still get its way in. This is not a medical device. The thing that is holding them back from being anything resembling decent headphones, it's the air filter. It is loud. It is obnoxious. It adds weight to the headphones. It adds so much stuff that nobody actually needs. And it leads me to wonder how this made it to market in the first place. So I recorded some royalty free music online. And so you can see that in the review below, along with many other charts and graphs proving what I'm talking about. But it's probably better for you to listen to it for yourself. I have next to me a Dyson blade. It's got a heater inside, so it's quite loud and it's getting very, very warm in here. Try to listen to this and see how loud this is. We may have to boost this in post and then we're gonna compare it to the Dyson Zone. The lowest setting. Setting number two. And the highest setting. It is quite loud. Not only to my ears, but everyone around me. And when you have all of that extra noise piped in directly into your ears, that defeats the whole purpose of having good noise cancellation if all you hear is the damn fan. If Dyson had just made headphones, were able to focus on reducing the mass and not use so much metal, they could actually have a hit on their hands and they may very well do that. But it's very frustrating to see products like this because of what could have been. That's why we can't recommend these ever to anyone. And it is the first time that I've ever done that with a set of headphones. Yeah, I love my, 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 my notes. It just says price, no. <laughs> By Bose, Sony, anything but this. Literally anything. Pick a headphone, it's better. Dyson, if you're watching, don't give up on headphones. This is a little setback. But after everything we've seen here, you clearly know what you're doing. Just make regular 
headphones. You were so close to making a really, really good product, but it's the air filter that's letting it down. I think that's five minutes. <laughs> if you've made it this far in the video, I salute you. Why would you ever listen to five minutes of me ranting about headphones you're never gonna buy? Thank you for giving me your time, and as always, happy listening.